what's up guys tapsoon here in this video i will be fully awakening the magma fruit yes you heard wow. me right i will be awakening all the moves for the magma fruit in this video so yeah make sure you hit the like and subscribe button before we get started hit the like and subscribe button for more videos like this i will be awakening different fruits in the future so yeah if you want to stay tuned for more hit the like and subscribe button before we get started so in this video i will be fully awakening and showcasing the magma food so right now i have leopard on i know i know guys i have the leopard on it's pretty much my favorite food so far in the game one of the strongest fruits by the way but i have to get rid of the leopard if we want to awaken the magma food so i will be getting the magma food at the shop so let's go ahead and take a look at the shop here first of all let's take this transformation off okay so this is me right here this is is top soon this is my new look guys let me know if Damn, you like it like girl. the bunny ears this is fresh so yeah today we will be making this video with the help of my friend here uh overwatch okay i'm good at overwatch this is my friend here he's gonna help us through the whole entire video so what we're gonna do right now is get the magma food okay so for all the magma users make sure you pay attention we're gonna go through the entire process especially if you are thinking about using magma Magma, this is the video for you guys make sure you watch all the way to the end so we are in the shop right now we are looking at the shop let's see what we have where is the magma did i pass on the magma fruit where is magma in here guys did i miss it let's skip okay this is magma right here as you guys can see magma elemental fruit out of stock how much is magma magma is actually 1300 robux 1, oh my robux. god this is actually a lot of robux magma is pretty expensive guys so yeah we have to spend 1300 robux to buy this one let me see how many robux i have by the way okay so it looks like i have enough robux to buy this but before we buy it let's make sure we don't have this item in our inventory so i'm gonna go back to my items let's see we might have magma somewhere around here yay we got magma here so this is magma so i have magma so i don't have to buy it anymore but the downside is that this is not going to be permanent this is not going to be permanent but i'm going to go ahead and unstore it okay and in order to unstore fruits you have to make sure you are at second c if you are at first c you cannot unstore fruit so take a look at this guy this is the mighty magma fruit look at this very cool i like it uh look very yummy yum 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 let's actually eat this guy we're gonna take a bite at the magma fruit looks very yummy okay so eat let's see yum 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 let's let's eat this yay we made it so right now i just ate the magma fruit so the magma is on i have unlocked like two moves right now but my goal is to unlock all the moves so we can awaken all the moves so what we're gonna do right now is go and grind we're gonna grind and unlock all the moves for the magma and then we are going to go through the awakening process so first thing to do is make sure all the moves are unlocked so this okay. is what we're gonna do we're gonna head over to the quest giver over here here we go we made it to the quest guy over here so hey buddy give me a quest so we're gonna pick the swan pirates one of the easiest pirates to actually defeat so we have to defeat eight of these so let's go around here where are my boys here we go so these are my boys here so i have the magma clap on and the magma eruption those have been unlocked so what i'm gonna do is use those okay so this is the first move guys first move is pretty cool and i like magma by the way magma is pretty cool one of the best fruits in the game especially for noobs look at that we have mastery 100 on so that means we unlock the magma fist right the c move let's go ahead and give the c move a try guys c move okay here we go this is the magma fist pretty cool move by the way so we have these bad boys who came back to life we're gonna keep beating them up okay so this is the c move we're gonna go ahead and give the c move another try the magma fist look oh at that my God. the magma fist is very wow. strong very strong move by the way so right now we are grinding to unlock all the moves literally i have one more move left okay so we are grinding right now let's destroy these bad boys and magma is actually pretty good i'm not gonna lie guys magma is good okay. okay 
Let's take these boys out, especially with the help of our teammate here. I'm good at Overwatch, okay? Level mastery 112, pretty good. Can't complain right now. We are doing good. Perfect, perfect. And by the way, guys, this is a loja fruit. So what that means is that like enemies that are actually lower than you cannot deal damage to you guys, which is pretty nice. cool, right? So these guys cannot deal damage to me because they are weaker than me. As you can see, this is an elemental fruit. We are almost at mastery 140. At 140, we are going to finally unlock the last move, which is the magma meteor. So we are about to get over there. And by the way, if you still haven't liked and subscribed yet, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Like and subscribe for more awakening tutorials. And let me know what food should we awaken next, by the way guys i will be awakening another fruit i don't know if i should be awakening buddha or sand or even quake i have quake as well so i was thinking about quake quake is kind of hard to wake and not gonna lie guys but yeah we might take a bite at quake let's take care of these bad boys here we are almost there Am I gonna get there if I defeat this guy? Yay! We made it to 140. Mastery 140. So finally, we have unlocked all the moves for the magma. So this is magma non-awakened. So we haven't awakened yet, but I'm gonna do a quick showcase before we start the awakening process i'm gonna do a quick showcase guys so first of all we have the first move which is the z move that's the magma clap that's what it's called so i'm gonna do the first move here magma clap okay pretty strong okay. 2k damage this is pretty good the second move is the magma eruption uh which is kind of nice as well so let's do that on this guy over here magma eruption 2k damage not bad and what happened is you have like magma leftovers on the floor so this will actually cause damage i would say overall looks like this might be good for a pvp now this is the c move this is the magma fist c move is pretty good and now we have the v move which is the magma meteors let's go ahead and do the v move okay this is the v move looks cool i'm not gonna lie guys probably the strongest move of all and we have the f move f move is the one that is the magma floor so uh what is overwatch saying so when in rage try to move around a lot so you don't is that like uh trying to avoid damage so he's saying to move a lot when you are in the raiding process we haven't started the raiding process by the way so i'm gonna do the last move which is the magma floor so pretty much the last move you have the option to make some magma floor like pretty much cause some damage and the good thing about this last move is that it's pretty infinite right you can stay up there on the floor and just cause some damage going around that's why i'm saying that magma is one of the best food. so if you know how to use magma magma can be very useful look at these guys i am literally destroying these bad boys without even having to come out of the floor right this is magma floor here this is the f move by the way if you guys are asking so by the way i'm gonna go ahead and start the awakening process which is the best part of this video so i'm gonna go ahead and start the awakening process and by the way before you start the awakening process there are some steps that you have to take first you have to make sure you are at level 1100 so if you are not at level 1100 or more what you're gonna have to do is get a friend who is at level 1100 or more and that friend's gonna help you with the weights pretty much someone have to host the weight so like yeah you have to host the weight so your friend's gonna have to do it for you but you can still awaken the move and next thing to do is go to an island called hot and cold which is at the second sea everything happens at the second sea the awakening process happened at the second sea so make sure you can get at the second sea first so we are going to start the awakening process guys see you at hot and cold a few moments later so right now we made it to hot and cold island what we're gonna do next is go into the lab we have a location here called the lab so we're gonna make it into here 
right in here and next thing we have to do is put a code on this screen here so you have to put a code on here in order to open up the gate for the lab the lab is on the left side so we have to put a code in here on this screen you have to make sure you type the code the same exact way it's going to be red blue green blue tap these pads and twist the code to this exactly the same next thing to do is go into the lab so the gate is finally open what we're gonna do is go through here and then we're gonna climb all the way up top okay i am climbing here right at the top so now when you get here there is an npc that you have to talk to this npc right here okay so uh let's actually talk to this npc so let's say i wanted to do a raid right i'm gonna do normal and then i'm gonna do uh the, select the fruit here so right now we're doing what magma so i'm gonna select magma okay so right here we have magma but i'm not gonna select it because my friend is gonna host the raid guys the map is loading up we are gonna get over to the raiding island so this is the first island so we're gonna go through a series of islands this is the very first one we have to defeat some npcs the awakening is actually step by step we're gonna do the first move first so what we're gonna do is awaken the magma clap and then next we're gonna go for the magma eruption and then magma face and then magma meteor or hopefully we get a now the move if not it's okay we have a lot of moves already so pretty much awakening the food make the food more powerful if you guys are kind of like wondering so my friend here is doing the job but i'm trying not to be useless once we're done with this step i will be fully awakening the magma move and i will be doing a full showcase for you guys i will literally be showing you guys all the awakened moves so you guys can make a good decision and see how good magma is like so far i'm very impressed with magma guys i'm not gonna lie magma is probably one of the best fruits for beginners if you are a noob magma is the fruit to go because magma is a fruit that is a larger fruit or elemental if you prefer so pretty much you can use this fruit to grind easily right now we are grinding the first island we're gonna go through like uh, four islands i believe we just made it to the last island this is the island where the boss gonna spawn and by the way guys you have to know that the boss is using awakened move so Look the boss dude. is not a regular <laughs> npc oh, no I'm no 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 <laughs> here we go we are finally done defeating the boss and we made it to the awakening section here which is the last place that you need to be in order to awaken so we're gonna awaken the last move it's gonna be five fragment which is actually a lot it actually took us about like four tries in order to be able to uh, okay. awaken the last move magma can be pretty hard to awaken guys so yeah get some help so we are gonna fully showcase the awaken magma right now so starting with the first move which is the magma shower so this is the z move we're gonna go ahead and try it out so pretty much this move is a move that's gonna like give a uh, punches it's more like punches you're gonna be throwing throwing a uh, hot uh, lava to enemy players let's go ahead and try the z move on this guy it's a pretty good move okay guys and by the way guys this move gonna leave like some puddles that's gonna like provide damage to uh, enemies when they walk over it it's a pretty powerful move by the way so it was like uh, 6k 6-7k oh damage which is pretty good and by the way no! you can use the z move and the x move as a combo to one shot enemy player so i'm gonna do that on the next uh npc okay. but right now let's showcase the second move which is the volcanic assault so we're gonna go ahead and do that on this guy so for the second move you need to get a little bit close okay it's gonna leave a puddle as well that's gonna make some damage to enemy players so i'm gonna do the combo that i wanted to show you guys okay so we're gonna do that on this guy okay so we're gonna hit with the z move and then i'm gonna hit him with the axe okay as you can see he literally died so i one shot this guy using the z and x combo so this is a cool combo that you can use uh when in fighting the npcs or even fighting like players in pvp so right now i'm gonna uh, showcase the third move which is the c move is actually the great magma hound so pretty much this one you send a wave of magma to enemy players you gotta stand like a little bit like uh, a little bit close but not too close okay so it's the c move let's go ahead and do that 
okay you can see here actually uh makes a party last while that's gonna like make damage to enemies over time so right now i'm gonna go ahead and use the v move which is the move that we just awakened let's go ahead and give it a try v move okay look at this okay looks kind of big very powerful we're gonna like throw it out okay you can see here what it does like you oh can see the my god that this npcs actually gets from staying around the lava now we're gonna use the f move which is the beast right you can pretty much fly using the beast right okay make sure you hold the f hold half in order to fly okay this is the beast wow. right pretty much like a snake head with the open mouth i'm literally flying it's pretty much like a pretty long flight because it doesn't consume energy so it's a pretty long flight you can fly around you can even fly from island to another island but not too far pretty good move and by the way when you land you can deal some damage okay so i'm gonna land here and deal damage you guys can see here i pretty much did like 2k damage to these npcs so yeah you can deal damage uh using the f mode if you still haven't subscribed yet make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and also let me know what fruit you want me to awaken next i will be awakening more fruits next time so yeah hit the like and subscribe button and stay tuned for more tops from here peace out